Hey friends, and welcome back to lesson five of Tana Fundamentals, where we're going to talk about super tags. Really cool name for an incredibly powerful feature. In a previous lesson, we've talked about creating tags already. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take these ordinary tags and make them extraordinary. So let's get right into it. So when you have tagged a node, you can go from there and configure that tag. Let's do this. So we're going to create a new node for American Sphinx, which is a book about Thomas Jefferson. So if I hover my mouse over the book tag and click it, I get here a configure option. And if I click this, this opens up a panel just like we had for the fields. But in the tag configuration, what we have is something called default content. And here's something that we can add to everything that is tagged as book. So I can add the author and topic fields here, and they will get applied automatically to everything that has been tagged as a book. So let's do this. If I type author here, I can use the field I've already used and put this here. I'm going to use the uh, topic that we already have. And now if I expand American Sphinx, these two fields have automatically uh, been added, right, which is extremely powerful, because it means everything that has a tag also has default has a relationships that you can then set. So this book was written by Joseph Ellis, I'm going to tag him as an author. And the topic is Thomas Jefferson, we're going to tag as a US president. We are not limited to fields, however, right? We can add anything we like. For example, here I can say, okay, for every book, I want to have child nodes where I can indent under the summary of a book and some quotes I get from it, right? So if I type summary here and quotes, I get two new nodes that have those words as their titles. And again, this is not just applied here to American Sphinx as a new book. If I go to all my books and look at Washington Life, I now have summary and quotes here as well. What you see here is that the reading status field has been added below summary and quotes. We added this, if you watched the last video, as a field manually. And here above that rather a little bit thicker line is the default content of the book. But this reading status is currently not part of our book tag configuration, right? So if I go here and to configure and I add reading status and use that uh, field here, it gets moved up into the default content section of that node that is based on the super tag book. I can of course also select a color for the book tag and now all books are tagged as blue. Of course, I can also add references here, right? So if I add at US presidents here, for example, every book now node now has a US president section under it, you can reference, make new nodes, whatever you want in this default content, they're just nodes. So everything goes, anything goes. Now, what's extremely powerful about turning a tag into a super tag is that you have inheritance in Tana. So let's look into that in a little bit more detail. Right now here, we have recorded the author of a book. And authors usually are 
persons, right? And so I can make the author tag inherit from the person tag. So let's do this. We're going to create a tag in a different uh, way right now. I'm going to say person here and then type tag command K to get the command prompt and then create super tag. And this turns it into a tag. I can click here and that takes me directly to the definition or configuration of the person super tag. And I'm going to say here that every per person has a birthday, right? And I'm going to configure the birthday field and say the field type has to be a date. That kind of um, makes sense. Cool. So let's get back to where we were. Person is now a super tag. Let's configure the author tag to inherit from the person tag. We're going to configure author and then select here advanced. And under the advanced um, menu, we select extend an existing tag and say uh, person. And now you see when I confirm the selection of person, it automatically added the birthday field to the author. That's super powerful. Now, why is that powerful? Because it means that if I have other tags that inherit from person, they also have that field, but they do not have all the fields that author has. Let me show you in more detail. Thomas Jefferson, a US president, is also a person. So let's make all US presidents also inherit from the existing tag person. Now, one thing that makes you as presidents different from authors is that US presidents assume office. Authors usually don't, unless a US president is also an author, which is a case you can actually have in Tana without any problems. But to illustrate here, let's say we make for US president the field assumed office. We're going to configure this as a date as well. And you see here I have birthday, which is inherited from the person tag, but I have also the assumed office field. Now, if I expand this, you see Thomas Jefferson has a birthday and has assumed office and Joseph Ellis, who is an author, only has the birthday field, right? That is super, super powerful as you hopefully see, right? Because it means you can have standard definitions that kind of trickle down to sub cases of what you have in terms of data, right? You have people, persons, you have authors who are persons, you have US presidents who are persons, and you can create default sets of fields and content depending on the value of the tag, but they all share the definition of the birthday field that comes from the person tag or anything that would be would be similar in terms of data modeling is, is basically what, what we're doing here, right? Now, what's really cool about the inheritance feature is that searches, which we covered in the last lesson, turn up all the child definitions when you search for the higher level tag. Now, if I go here and say find nodes with tag person as list, you see all authors and you as presidents show up, right? So I can search for the higher level tag and all the lower level, more specific tags still show up. Of course, I can also do still search for find nodes with tag um, US president, and then I have all the US presidents listed here as well. And of course, I can show them as a table and sort by the day they assumed office, right? So ascending, George Washington before Thomas Jefferson and so on, or of course, uh, descending if you want. Um, and that is what you can do with super tags in a nutshell, right? We now can apply default fields and content to anything 
that has a certain tag. Those can combine, those can inherit from each other, right? So again, author is a person, US president is a person. If I search for person, all authors and US presidents turn up and if I search for US president, I only see the US presidents as we have here. And then I can sort by the default field that was added to the node by the tag, the super tag. So to quickly summarize, we've learned a lot about nodes in Tana, right? Literally everything is some kind of node. Tags are nodes. Uh, fields are nodes, nodes are nodes. You can reference and embed them, you can link them, you can tag a node, you can record data through tags by thinking of tags as is a relationships. Um, you can record data about a node by having fields that ha are has a relationships. We can search these things um, with the powerful live search feature. We can look at these uh, search results and nodes in general in the form of different views, table, cards, build Kanban boards. So incredibly powerful features that we have covered so far. In the next lesson, we'll take this a step further and really see how searches and super tags in combination can open up powerful workflows inside Tana. And the way we're going to do this is that we're going to complete the reading uh, workflow that we've started here so far. And um, I'm going to show you a bunch of more features that, that make super tags and live searches in Tana really powerful and really pop um, in a way. So talk to you in the next video. And until then, have a good one. Bye bye.